Hello everyone, Mitchell Trump guy, happy Fall Friday, welcome to system test number 32 with a new panel, which we will see right here in a second, so, anyway, let's get started, so, so if you all remember from the last test, it was going to be the last test with the FCI FC 2224 Fall Control panel, well, it is taken down, yeah, it's sitting in, the, in this uh, firelight box right here, so, yep, see, See, it's not going to be in use too much anymore because I'm going to be eventually going to be selling this panel because I got the new panel on the system. So, what's the new panel? Well, first of all, this is a panel that I have been wanting for a while now, actually. And I have finally got this new panel. So, I'll give you a hint. The panel is obviously made by Simplex, as you see right on here. So, what is the new panel? It is a... Yes, this is a Simplex 4004 Fire Alarm Control Panel. Yep, so say goodbye to the old FCI panel and say hello to the new Simplex panel. So yeah, well I'm going to say this is new because this was used in the building, but yep. So anyway, here's the inside of it. As you can see, this one is in particular is six zones. So you usually have two, four, six. This one... Pretty much this panel will go up to eight zones, so that's pretty much how it is. And then I actually still have the batteries of the other panel, or these batteries are going to be staying in the panel, so yeah. Alright, so that was the overview of the new panel. Now let's go on with our devices, shall we? Over here I have the Simplex 4251-21 for the first pulse station, or first initiating device system. For the first notification points, we have the Simplex 4903-9219. Up here, I have the System Sensor I3 smoke detector. Yep, this is the smoke detector on the ceiling. I was originally going to do a simplex detector, but I originally was going to do like the heat detector, but the heat detector decided to stop working. So, and I don't have then the wiffle ball smoke. I don't know, it doesn't work too well anymore. So that's all right. But anyway, that's the smoke detector on the system. And then over here we have the Simplex 2999-754. And for the final last device right here, we have the 4904-9137 remote strobe for the second notification appliance. Alright, so that was pretty much all our devices here. And you can see we kind of have pretty much an all Simplex theme except for the i3. So, because the i3 is obviously made by system sensor. But everything else is all simplex, pretty much. So, yep. So, anyway, that is pretty much all the devices. Now we can go on to the fun part, the actual activation itself. And like I said, since this alarm only does continuous, I actually have the panel doing code 3. So the system will be doing code 3. So, anyway, let's start off by activating the system, pulling on the 4351-21. If you got epilepsy, do not watch this. Alarm has been silenced. Let's go ahead and reset the pulse station. As you can see, the model of this is 4251-21. You can see, pretty cool. All right. Now, we can do a system reset. Now this panel is a little bit different than the other panel. Usually, when I press system reset, 
it resets immediately. Strobes and the horns stop sounding and strobes stop flashing, but this this panel right here in particular takes a few seconds to reset, so. All right, so. Yep, so that was pretty much code three. Now, we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna do the system sensor I3, and the system will be going to march time, so I'll be right back. All right, system has been set to march time, so now we can go ahead and activate the system sensor I3 smoke detector. Here we go. So as you see, we activated the smoke detector. Now we do a system reset. Like I said, you know, let's give it a few seconds. Alright, All right, so the system has been reset and now we will go ahead and activate the last device on the system and the system will be doing continuous. So I'll be right back one more time. All right, I have set the system to a continuous. It's now, it's gonna be time for me to bring back my old high school fire drill days. Here we go. God, <laughs> I'll tell you what, with these electromechanical horns, they're pretty loud to be honest, so. I'll tell you what, this definitely reminds me of my old high school, to be honest. Yeah, with the old mechanical four now, three is doing continuous. If I had a trailer, I could, let, I could have a trailer doing code three and these doing continuous, but as I don't have a trailer, um, I honestly can't do anything about it right now, so. But no, I think we'll do that for a future system test if I get truer. So, but yeah, all right. Go ahead and do a final system reset. Give these, give these a few seconds to reset. All right. So, yep, that's that. So. That pretty much wraps up for system test number 32, obviously with the new Simplex 4004 file and control panel. So next test, a few devices will still stay, except I'm gonna be changing a few devices. That's gonna be the notification pines. And I think I might switch out the smoke detector for next test, so. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up for this video. If you all enjoyed this video, like this video, drop a comment down below, Subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will see you all next week for the next Fire Alarm Friday. So, have a great day, everyone.